Well, when I finished my school education and my time at the Royal College of Music, I had a fantastic opportunity given to me, and it was to go to St Paul's Cathedral in London for a year as the junior organ scholar. I mean, it was an amazing place. It had a director of music and an assistant director of music. It had an assistant organist. It had a senior organ scholar and it had a junior organ scholar. So I was only 18 and I went in as the junior organ scholar. Well, having spent most of my time playing quite small church organs, you can imagine that going to St Paul's Cathedral and having this huge building with this ginormous organ was really quite a shock. But wow, what a fantastic learning opportunity that was with fantastic musicians at the helm like Christopher Durnley and Barry Rose and John Scott, who was the assistant at the time, absolutely stunning organists and stunning musicians. And there was so much to learn from them. Just observing them at work taught me a huge amount. And of course, there was a fair amount of hands-on experience as well. Just the chance to get my hands on an organ of that size. Five keyboards, but divisions of the organ all around the building. There was so much that you could do with that instrument. It was absolutely incredible. So while I was there, I did all sorts of things, played for services, went to rehearsals, there were recordings that went on, BBC broadcasts. And one of the other fascinating things that I did was to look after some of the visiting recyclists. So there were many of them from all around the world. And I can remember in particular, the French organist Jean Longley coming. And he seemed to be a rather decrepit old man when I met him. And he really kind of struggled to get around the keyboard and the pedal board at first. But he asked me to kind of show him where every stop on the organ was, uh, which I did. And he instantly just remembered everything and then played like a dream. So people like that were a total inspiration to me. So I had this year at St Paul's Cathedral and then having spent my time studying at Oxford, I then had the opportunity to go to Canterbury Cathedral for a while as the organ scholar down there. Another fantastic cathedral and a lovely organ and wonderful people to work with. Alan Wicks and David Flood who were there at the time, absolutely superb people. And then I was looking for a job as a cathedral organist and the only job that came up when I needed one was the assistant organistship at Wakefield Cathedral in Yorkshire in the north of England. So I applied for that job and the job was offered to me. So that's where I went to do that cathedral work there. And so started my time in Yorkshire and all these years later, we're going on 40 years now, I still live in Yorkshire.